You know, I just talked to my friend in California and I was explaining to him the healthcare in Russia and he couldn't believe it. Um, he asked me if I was like paying for health insurance and I told him, well, I get automatic health insurance because I'm like a Russian citizen. And he goes like, well, he goes like, how much it costs? And I go like, nothing, you know, um, like, the, the thing is, they charge you money if you're working. So if you have a job, you pay, or I think your employer pays some like 5% or whatever. But if you don't work, you just get it automatically. And then the crazy thing that I think Americans are going to be completely mesmerized about is the fact that you can call a doctor here for free to your house. That's right. A doctor will visit your house. The only thing is during the pandemic, they've been slacking off and people have been complaining that when they call a doctor, nobody comes. I mean, yes, there is a chance that they're not going to come, but for the most part, such a service exists. Okay. And if you call an ambulance, it's also free completely. Even in Europe, I think in Austria and Germany, supposedly an ambulance is free, but if you call them and it turns out that your call was not serious enough, they're going to send you like a 700 euro fine. Well, in Russia, it doesn't happen. So here, and I think in a lot of most of Eastern Europe as well, it's not, and probably most of the world, I think. Again, it's not, I don't think this is unique to Russia where you can call an ambulance and you don't have to worry about a bill or whatever. Uh, also, they have free basic things like dentist, dentist, but again, the free dentist is usually crap, so you usually pay for it. Paid doctors are uh, usually $10 per visit. I heard that in Mexico, a doctor is $5. Here in Russia, it's $10. But overall, it's very important for me to not have to worry about calling an ambulance or not having to worry about being in medical debt. So, for example, there's no such thing as going to a Russian hospital and ending up $100,000 in debt. You know, you, you they have paid procedures and they have some bribes, but they're going to tell you in advance. Like, you're not going to be in a situation where you, all of a sudden you get a bill, all right, for things. So it's not... Uh, that bad although i have to say that free like like there are free clinics right in russian they're called polyclinics where you go for free but there is usually a huge wait and there's a bunch of grandmas there so it's a bit of a like you have to spend half a day there um, so it's usually worth it to pay ten dollars and go to like a paid doctor but the thing is the free doctors they still, you know, provide competition for the paid doctors so that the paid doctors keeps their prices low. So overall, while Russian healthcare is not perfect, people complain about all the time, it's not nearly as bad or as expensive as American healthcare. Also, I want to comment on the dentists. Now, where I was, when I was in California, I, the quality of dental care was abysmal. They screwed up my teeth so bad that I still have to go to dentists and fix them up until this day. I am going fixing the shit that they screwed up in California. So Russian dentists, they are kind of getting expensive. I would say their prices are usually about four times less than American doctors, but still not like dirt cheap. I mean, they're still expensive, but at least their quality of work is much higher, meaning at least when dentists in Russia looking at my teeth, I feel like they care about it. You know, I feel like they try to do a good job. They take their time. Whereas dentists in California just rush you and like, you know, it's 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 like a, I don't know. They, ju they just want the next person to, to come there so they can, you know, make money quicker and, and everything. That's, that's how I felt with um, doctors there. I also feel that, Doctors in Russia are more caring um, towards you as a patient. I mean, they might ha not have a lot of resources, especially the free doctor, but at least you get like a person who 
is at least like not like a monster type of thing, you know, which is better here as well. So that's quick description of how things are.